Outdoor cookouts are popular as summer approaches. Consumers can expect to pay more for beef, poultry, and pork because supplies are tight, according to LSU Ag Center economist Ross Pruitt. Chicken prices have started to take off. Um, in January, beef prices really took off. In February and parts of March, we saw the same thing with pork prices. So there's not really going to be a break anywhere it, for consumers. Pruitt said that beef production is expected to decrease 6% this year, with last year's drought causing the liquidation of many cattle herds. For cattle producers with animals to sell, they can expect to receive a good price. If you've got them, you know, get them to a good weight, sell them. The market needs them right now, pretty much regardless of whatever weight you produce to. With beef prices near record levels, some people may be interested in investing in cattle. Pruitt indicated that it may not be the best time. I don't know if it's necessarily the worst time, but when you think about the land prices, uh, combined with you know whatever equipment fencing combined with you know the price of cattle it's going to be difficult. Ag Center researchers are conducting forage studies to determine the most economical way to feed newly weaned cattle to facilitate weight gain. Baleage, which is hay wrapped in plastic and common in the dairy industry, has promise when used in the right situation. If you have the ability to harvest high quality forage and do it properly and feed it to the right type of animal, it can be economical. Walker said that forage with a high sugar content, such as ryegrass, performed best. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.